is this DOS from? So what do I mean by odds and ends is that we're gonna take a quick look at other versions of New Horizon. Because, uh, well, I, in my personal opinion, uh, the SNES version is probably the best version of the game. And no, I do not have the Steam version because I don't have the money to spend on a game I don't understand. Um, yeah, we're going to look at a bunch of versions, starting with the DOS version, which I have played in the past, but I remember that it's a bit weird. I'm going to see a bit more of it now. I'm going to check for the music because it might be slightly quiet. It should be audible enough, hopefully. We do recognize the ad-lib version of the music. I'm not sure if it's because of the cycles or whatever. Gem fire, but with guns! I do find it kind of nice, the uh, detailed portraits we get here. Apparently Otto is way older in this version. So I think for some reason in the SNES version he's like 20-something, which I'm sorry, that's not the face of a 20-something, but you know. Playing the DOS version. Also, yeah, as you could tell, I kind of, I'm honestly not sure if I'm going to continue my, if I should continue to VS, considering how much time I have left. I mean, it's up to you, honestly. Ellie looks way more badass than he does in the SNES version. Some provided help and support. While others were determined to stand in their way. All the way to stand, Magician Red! you to guide them on the path to glory. New Risen! So, something that is kind of interesting with this version of the game, you get a nice uh, Europe European uh, part here to show approximately where each character starts. It's not exact, obviously, but, you know. Hello, Shadow Derby. So, yeah, um, 
For this showcase, my standard will usually be Urns because he has the easiest start, essentially. And another thing that's interesting is that they show the full stat composition of the character. That is definitely interesting. Leadership, knowledge, courage, sea stat, intuition, charm, sword play. And uh, select escape to use the default name, which we will. There's no reason for it, us to change it. Now, one thing I find weird with this version is... We don't even get an intro, we're just thrown into the game. And if you didn't know what to do, you'd have to figure out by going even through every building. I th think I remember which one is the one we want. I believe it's this one, actually. There we go. I was just looking for you. It's essentially the exact same story, by the way. I'll supply the money. How would you like to career out of being an explorer? Ernest honestly looks like he's the best character to start with in this game. Honestly, he's the easiest. He starts with high C stat. Uh, his intro is fairly short. So yeah. We don't get any sounds when we get money, though, so I would just take my word for it. The gold coins have been added at the bottom left there, which is interesting. It also shows the principal fame you need to increase for your character. Anyways, they're adding uh, Hans. Hans is here. So, you want to open the menu, you have to use the function key, so F1 is for the fleet. F2 is for your crew. F3, you actually have hero info, which essentially gives you the different fame, your money, and the friendship with the different factions. If you want to see more stats, here you go. You're going to mate. And if you check chart, it actually shows you the, the map. I'm gonna guess the map is probably a bit more accurate in this version, as opposed to the... Oh, I... I, I remember what it, uh... At least right, slightly. You, you can actually zoom in, I forgot about this detail. Like, if you go here, for example... You get this. That, I don't know. I haven't played this version enough, honestly. You also get F4, which, uh, as your option for on-ship, as well as your op other options, like save and load the game. I think you can have multiple save games in this version, too. Yep. I do have a test save that I did, just to make sure that it works. Go away, game! Very descriptive game! I know it's an empty slot, but still. Now, one thing I do have a problem with this version of the game. 
We start with no crew. Ends no supplies. I have a big problem with this. I'm curious actually. They do not. No, this is this is a terrible ship. I would have liked to have a light galley, but they don't have one. Here. So what, uh, when he, you can actually type the number, thankfully. So that's that's one thing that's good. The main problem is the fact that they start you with nothing. Your ship's empty. It's a empty husk. Also, unfortunately, there is no inside, like in other versions. So once you get in, you're just thrown into a menu. To be fair, though, the the PC versions were meant like this, so... It means that they didn't take up a lot of space in the, in the, in the beginning. I mean, the entirety of this game takes and up, like, what, 4 meg? Oh, also, hey, we're we're on PC, so now it's Jin. This was rated K to A, so. Yeah, but on Nintendo, you can't have Jin. You can't have alcohol. Well, yes. Yeah, at least not back in the day. Nintendo was still doing their censorship at the time. All right. We do have to go into crew and assign crew. It's still a good idea to have this uh, at 50. So is this the only version you're going to be showing off or are you going to be... Nope, I have an, a few other versions. Uh, so yes, you do have the story, but unfortunately they don't go to the counter because there's no interior in this version. Supply. Unfortunately, this is like original Uncharted Water. You have to you supply have to manually. Oh my god. Another thing I have a problem with this version. Now, for control on the overworld, you have to use the number pad. Thank god I have a working one, but... Be prepared! Welcome to the overworld! Home of... It home looks of almost like the original Uncharted one. Home of dated... Home of dated... What, EGA graphics? No, this is definitely VGA. The first Uncharted Wars was EGA, though, right? I don't know. We just found a village. Right, it's F4, I keep forgetting. Go ashore. Actually, I might be too far. Yeah, I am. This interface is a bit clunky, too, that, which does help. Also, you don't even get the little jingle when you land at a village. You found the ruins of an ancient civilization. That was fast. Well, yeah, it's... They even ruined the, the, the value of the place. They all, they all right say it's devalue. Well, I know one of the other versions is showing off. I wonder what that third version is. Probably the uh, probably the only other one I know of, aka either the. Well, no, actually there are a couple. There's the Genesis version, which is literally just the SNES version, but on the Genesis, and with the censorship removed, if I remember right. Mainly with the Jin, everything else has been censored. But I'm not gonna be playing this for very long. I just on the show that this exists and it has graphics that are very reminiscent of the original Uncharted Waters. 
I mean, it's a sequel. I mean, they differentiate it for the console versions. I mean, that's a given. Yeah, but I'm not sure which one came first. Is the thing. Uh, I believe, if I had to guess, the PC-98 version probably came first. Oh, I'm sorry, PC-88. Because it's probably a PC-88 game. And then it got ported to MS-DOS, and then it got ported to the consoles. I will give this version that. You see everything on your HUD, at least. There is that that I can give to this version. Uh, well, the problem with the Super Nintendo and the Sega Genesis is that they had a specific, like, screen size. So, you kind of had to do that. Also, the supply ports are... Way more detailed, honestly. Not that it what? matters, because the only place you can enter is still the arbor, but hey, there's a bunch that, of owls okay, and that's everything. At least that's streamlined at that point. Walking in the beaches of Greenland. <laughs> Place is called Greenland. Greenland is covered with ice. Press X to doubt. <laughs> bing, bing, bing. <laughs> I remember one thing. I, I just love how one of the other, one of the other funny things I remember from Alien War is that is that one thing that happens if you say something wrong to the console <laughs> or no not or one of the in the console's car when you speak to him about the kid he's like you fucking boys about this it just comes out of nowhere <laughs> And then the console gets gets on his rocker immediately as he should, but Okay, I don't I don't like the fact that there's a longer delay between switching between sides of the world. Oh yeah, it's gotta load. The SNES version had it instantaneously! Yeah, and this isn't... This, this, this is DOS. Usually you'd probably have this game on a floppy or a disc, so... Floppy disc? It was not never on CD-ROM. Until the... Until the Japanese-only ports in the early 2000s. Which, by the way, Koei Tecmo, TRANSLATE THE FUCKING STEAM VERSIONS! Please. And get Gemfire on there, for the love of Christ! Hmm. I've searched for both the Japanese name and the English name, and they, they're not on there. Unfortunately, the uh, viewing thing is not very detailed. As I said, it's fairly reminiscent of the original Uncharted Waters. You know, now I think about it, there's something I never really showed in uh, 
all my playthroughs, and that's dying to a storm. So let's go do that. Before we switch to the next version, I want to showcase. Ooh, funky ad lib. Maybe eventually I'll play a full game of this on my own time. I'm fully expecting to find one of these pirates, but that's not him. Also, I, I'm gonna guess that this version probably doesn't tell you who's a pirate and who isn't. I know this is a pirate! Oh well, yeah, it's pirate in. <laughs> oh, they actually oh, so, do okay, mention okay, it. Okay, they do. Okay, good. They actually do mention it. Do you believe in miracles? You know what, it's not gonna be a miracle when I die to a fucking storm. Once you actually fucking find one. Yeah, oh, I, I I don't have a figure it. I'm gonna find one. I can I can assure you we're gonna find a storm. I tell you what. It's going to happen. You know, I might as well find Santa Cruz. It's right there. It's right there! Welcome to West Africa, home of tons of storm usually. Especially with no figurehead. Actually surprised we haven't gotten one yet. Come on, game. I know you're gonna put me a storm. I look there we go. But not before we find another port. It's yep. a storm. They don't even stop the music for this. The lack of features on the continents too. So yeah, you don't have the trees and stuff. Which probably means you can actually land pretty much everywhere. I gotta admit that the day and night cycle is fairly dynamic, though.
I'm also noticing the lack of uh, the the Firebird. Looks like uh, each town has a town crier that will tell you about something, so long as it's not a supply town. Yep. This building is locked. The heck is this building? I'll remember a special building in Timbuktu. Unless they added a quest in this version, or it was removed in other versions. Which I guess is possible, but... Why is it closed? Oh, it doesn't even ask you what time you want to go the fuck to sleep. Is there a good uh, navigator at the cafe? Also also, yeah, I, I saw the uh, dude with the frickin' bug-eyed face. Woof, <laughs> yep. woof. Arf, arf. Oh, you can actually play dice. Yeah, you totally want to play this with these people, right? <laughs> Don't trust it. Home wine. So again, this is PC, so there's alcohol. This was probably rated KA for alcoholic references. Another thing I've never shown actually is uh, the auto cell function, where you call on your first mate to get you somewhere. We might as well do that. Let's go to Bordeaux. I don't care if we get killed by a storm, by the way. <laughs> it's probably gonna happen. That's what you said last time and it didn't. Yeah, because I I stopped the shore to show that this is how you weather a storm. What the fuck? Look at this. 
see. Giant Black Menta? What? What? I... I don't think that's in the, the SNES version. I think they probably cut out a lot of the uh, monster attacks to fit the cartridge. Probably extends the Genesis version as well at that point. Oh, there's the storm. There it is. I'm to die. Once again, I'd be surprised if we survived this. I'm looking at our durability, it's going way low. <laughs> no, you're fucked. Yep. Storm is too strong, we're sinking! Hurts journal, eh? His face has not been seen. Turns oh, there's the dog! Right storm has battered, ship sank into the deep dark sea. Since then, his face has not been seen by anyone. Nah, he totally went ashore and just resumed his adventure like nothing bad happened. But yeah, that's the Dawes version. It's interesting. You do get some nice, uh, nice pictures. I'd be curious to see some of the endings, honestly, but anyways. We do have other versions to work with now, so let us uh, go ahead and get started on those. I already know what one of them is going to be, as I've said multiple times. Yep, yeah. uh, Ms. Hawk. It is time. You think it's time, but... Actually fucked up, so I gotta restart. Oh, <laughs> no, not yet. No, we're playing the Mega Drive slash Genesis version. Also, by the way, uh, you don't have Bizhawk side stream up yet. Yeah, yeah. I had to restart it anyways, so it would have killed it anyways. Okay, this should hopefully readjust itself afterwards. There we go. Again, I'm pretty sure this is more or less the same as the SNES version. Considering this opening is literally the same. Yeah, except, you know, the music. Good old... Kodo Yamaha! There is a Risk OS version of this? Okay, if you want to see the character in true, you have to wait like 15 minutes. Okay, I'm exaggerating obviously, but it takes a while for it to pop up. A lot of it is essentially the same. But, weirdly faster. That, but that's not the problem I have with this version. At least you do have the regular intro and everything. But yeah, the, the dialogue goes way faster, it feels like. Also, apparently... I know due to power limitations, but apparently Ernst has green hair right now. He, well, he did already in the other version. I thought it was white. No, in SNES he has green hair. Everything uh, seems a bit faster. The problem is uh, not really that.
If you You're press, right, I so think, we... the C button or the A button, you get this. Which is cool, oh, it pretty right much can okay. condenses the thing uh, there. And the thing is, well, you only have a start button, so if you want to see the map, you have to press start and go to map. The map is pretty much similar. As in, it's exactly the same. Almost like it's a direct port from the SNES, just with the changes needed for the SNES from the. Now the, the problem is, is I have not. There's a few things I have not figured out here. It'll be more apparent once we're at C. There's uh, you have a light galley. They usually don't at the start. Which sucks because uh, to do this scenario quickly, a light galley is probably your best friend. Running for the fjords! But yeah, some of the visuals are pretty much essentially the same as the SNES versions. But. Uh, there, there are some difference that I don't necessarily agree with. Also, if you're in buildings and you press start, you do get the map instantly. Like you would in the SNES it just means you can't. It just means you can't save in buildings, which I guess was the norm anyway. Also, they cut down a few of the animations. Yep, and it shows. Now, for some reason, your ship moves at turbo fucking speed. And it's animation here. I don't know why. Last processing! That might be the reason, actually. We gotta show we're better than Nintendo, because we got blast processing! Now... I want to press L and R, but if I press one of the button, it sometimes shows uh, some stats. It never wants to do it when I want to, but I can't seem to be getting the other stat sheet to show up, which is kind of annoying. I don't know, maybe. Maybe it's uh, a pressing thing. Let me actually let me actually see if uh, anyone scanned the Genesis version. It's manual. Oh. I yes, don't they know have. how I did that. Yes, they have. Someone scanned it. And now I can't get rid of it. Good. I'm pulling up the manual right now. Not that we're going to be on this for very long. Maybe it'll do like Meanwhile, the original SNES version. And okay, it does go away if you check the map. Uh, meanwhile, Ruth, I have a Mega Everdrive X5, so... Come on, Sega Retro, don't fail me now. I did not mean to do that. After six scenarios, I'm pretty good, okay? <laughs> I found a burb. And got some money for it. Burb.
jelly. Okay, let's see. To view it, okay, you've already figured out the main page stuff, I think. Sailing commands, I think, is what you're more concerned about. Okay! Here we go. Sailing the Blue Frontiers. Press D-pad left while holding down button A to check the conditions of your fleet. Oh my god. <laughs> That's Press not direction. obnoxious at all. Press direction right while holding it to check your sailing status. Quick sail is press up or down while holding A and then moving to a desired point and pressing C. Oh wow, I, I was out of food. And then the C commands are literally just the same, so... As you've been figuring out, so... Battle! 5 a.m. to 9 p.m. only? You couldn't start a battle in the SNES or, Gen or this version in the morning, in the early mornings? Nope, you can't, you can't, uh, you can't fight at night. Yep, also high tangled string. We're doing mm. odds and ends before Final Fantasy Tactics. Yep. We've already. You missed the DOS version, but it's not like it matters because it's basically just Uncharted Waters 1.5. Let's see. Okay. It's. Annoying, but okay, yeah, it kind of you'll, works. You'll get, you'll get used, to, I think it's a case of you'll get used to it after a while. If the six-button pad had come out before this port came out, I'm pretty sure they would have put one of the buttons of it on X or y, X, Y, or Z, so... Yeah. I mean, you could have just mapped everything at that point, except maybe the map. Because you'd still be missing I mean, you could have put button. it on mode. You could have put it on mode. Because mode is basically a select button, so... Alright, time to get uh, shipwrecked again. Also, it's a good thing I'm in here, because the next version you're showing off, you're probably going to need me for... Unless they... Use kanji, because I don't know my fucking kanji. <laughs> oh, wow, they put oh. sepia tone for the storm. Sepia, sepia tone, because I can't freaking... Alright, Yep. Dead. Well, that didn't take too long. <laughs> Speaking of sepia tone... Well, this is normal. And you said that they kept the churches? I actually did not know this. Let me... Oh wow, even the reloading is fast. Wow, okay. Interesting. Again, blast processing. Cut off there in your stream. Blast processing. No, I actually were to check. Because for sure, if there is a church, there's gonna be one in Lisbon. No, it's yeah, still it the Honored a... Society. Talk to the... Yeah. I guess the I guess the censorship must have been for all versions outside of Japan. 
I guess at no, that point because it makes the DOS sense version to keep it does have the charges. Well, console, I mean, because at that point it would be to maintain consistency. All right, that's enough of that version now. Now to the one I assumed from the beginning. Oh God, no! Please. Also, yes, the ink is not for is not for show. Once he actually f figures out how to fix the frickin' window changing. Yep, this is Daikoku Jidai 2 for PlayStation. Why are you moving this? That's not what I want to move. The PS1 version's graphics are more clo- Uh... Probably... At least early on, but... From what I understand, this version... Is only a step up from the other versions. Like, the Genesis and SNES versions. And by that I mean, it takes the visuals from the PC-88 slash DOS version. But still uses. And there's some if not, other if... things. I've completed her scenario in this version. And I can tell you there is something else to this. And since we yeah, have already they... finished all the scenarios, I will definitely be showcasing it. Everybody's face is on a globe, oh no! Yeah, unfortunately, the emulation is kind of struggling on this. Because, yeah, when I was playing this before the stream to make sure it works, there was no stuttering. So, yeah. Also, I don't know why it's cut all of a sudden. Memory card Ichi Shika Shu I actually did not want to. God damn it, it's, I forget it goes on freaking continue by default. And yeah, since this is the uh, Japanese PlayStation, Circle is accept and X is a uh, cancel. So essentially, it's exactly the same control as the uh, SNES version. Yeah, literally, this is the same as the other console ports, so... Yeah, you will notice that the graphics are much different, though. Obviously. See, there's your church! Yep, this version definitely has the church. I noticed they don't have the punctuation for 
periods, but... <laughs> But I think the portraits are more based off of the PC-98 version. It might be. And yeah, we have a church. There's a few other subtle difference, like... If we go into the shipyard... There's oh, actually a little jingle there... here. Oh, they made new music. I guess it's a Balsa, a Zebek, and a freaking eh, Galleon. Uh, yeah, Barusa, yeah, Barusa, Jebek, and Galleon. Yep. Uh, yeah, it always starts the same. Again, it helps you have someone that can read katakana slash kanji. To an extent. I mean, hiragana slash katakana. I can, but I've played this game so much that I know my way around, pretty much. I'll tell you what! And, uh, prepare to be surprised about the overworld, too. Oh, uh, it's The overworld is nothing like we've seen in any of the other versions. I wouldn't say it's a better, for, per se, but it's not bad. We didn't find any. Oh, we found the ruins of an ancient civilization. Yep. It's a stone edge. Unknown. Boruto. No, Boruto. Honestly, I don't mind the music. I still prefer the one from the SNES, personally, but this isn't bad. I do enjoy this. Got some pocket money. I just thought I, you just looked new and I thought you needed some assistance. Uh, no, that's a Flemish Around. galleon. There's a light galley. Uh, okay. I didn't even have a chance to read the other one. I know I'm going too fast. I know my way around. As for uh, Nate, Ego is right there. Fuck it. <laughs> Be oh, I thought you were. I thought you were gonna go with beefs. But no. One, two, three, four, uh, five, six, bagel. I. That. <laughs> Indeed, this is not FFT. We're doing odds and ends beforehand. Yes, hi.
Hey, gold medal. <laughs> Load capacity. How many bucks for the crew? And that reminds me, I probably should put the Hans back as a first mate now. As yeah, that also works exactly the same. However, you may notice that I'm not really saving the game, and that's because it does take a while in this version. How many blocks does it take up on the... I think it's only one, but I'm not sure. As you only have three saved per memory card. Supply port. Oh my god. Please, game. Yay, burb! We didn't find anything! We didn't find anything! We didn't find anything! We found something! We found it's the exotic animal! It's a burb. Yeah, the transition between the two, uh... The two are, uh, much different. The map feels a little bit the different, entire... too. I think it loads the entire game into RAM, possibly. It's possible. It just streams the audio off the disc. Could be. Supply, for... Supply port. Oh yeah, let me show you saving the game. Finding the memory card. You want to save? Saving the game. Did I remove the memory card? And there you go. It's not too long. It's longer than it should be, but it's not that long. Still too long, damn it. You grew up with the SNES version, of course you're gonna say it's that long. It can't be like the SAS version where it's instantaneous, goddammit. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm just giving you shit. Yeah, and since I don't, uh... I didn't want to bother trying to understand the King's Quest in the other game, I never went even page. Oh yeah, since there's ships around them, we might as well showcase this. That's Simon Sekera. Simon Sekera, yeah. Portugal, Portugal Battle Fleet. Our, I'm trying to say hello. Paid. I'm pretty sure he says something like, we're on our way home. Yeah. Probably on our way to our home country. Actually... Yeah, Pran <laughs> that's a pirate! Prancha Norono? That's a Midlal. 
The guy I recruited in the last game. Sweet. I was not expecting this to be here again. Alright, let's go. No. That's the thing. The Despite some of the things that are slower, the interface is faster. I think the I'm surprised the later PC versions weren't based off of these versions. We lost three crew. We found, we found the, we found the ferocious beast, basically. Yep. A saber to oh tiger. Oh god. Kaimono. That's what that said. Kaimono. We found a bird! We lost 50 men. We, fought, we lost 50 mans. Men? They kill extra lives in the... Uh, Villa Electric's games. Yeah, it literally translates to monster. I'm gonna play with my luck real quick and see if we can get the other star rank. Because that can sometime happen. I don't expect it, but... Do you have to supply manually in this version too, or is no, it just you don't. like the other version? I just put more food because I know I'm gonna need it. Essentially. Because we can get- we can just find water for free. If I need it. Is it really a good idea to find it from the to find it from the crap from find it from the sea though? We all no, know what you, happens you, when you drink you salt water. You, you find it from a clear spring. It's totally fine. Yep, this is PS1. This is PS1! This is PS4! And that was the... Yeah, that's the one I already got, okay. Yeah, that was Sabertooth! show up it should be around here ish surprised it hasn't if it was going to
Yeah, we are SOL. The game will resume here, yes. Road to this! Road to Shiryu! Not Shiryu, Shuyo! Cause Shuyo is... is complete. Welcome to the overworld. Home of dated PlayStation graphics. I mean... It's just upscaling of the SNES versions. I know you're making the reference, but... Honestly, I don't find this too bad. I just wish I didn't have the language barrier. <laughs> Now, see, I just realized something. I don't think it could have been... ...possibly because of Sony saying no to it. Because... ...here's the thing. Romance 4 came out on the PS1. And that yeah, was think. more or less... Yeah. And so did Romance 6. Mind you, Romance 6 was later, so that's not a fair comparison. But no, Romance 4? That came out in 95, so... That was still during the time of Bernie Stoller, so... <laughs> you, you definitely look like a pirate. <laughs> And yet, they're not. They're actually friends. And no, it's the inn I wanna check. Villain Heim. Gordon Hendrix. Well shot. Yeah. All right, we lost some crew. I forgot. You think I remember getting mauled by a frickin' saber to a tiger? Big ol' Maru! Was this the last version you were showing off, or...? Uh, there is something else I want to show off afterwards. Was it- was it what was brought up to your attention last time? Hmm? I can't say it because it would ruin the surprise, but I think I know what you're talking about. People 
one shot, you know what to do. <laughs> Finding a tree house. Food is trash. That's in the plans, that's kinda what I wanted to do. Oh! So no, that's not... I'm not sure what the hell else we were talking about. I thought you were talking about the randomizer. Never mind. I mean, I could, but... If you're really gonna do this section with Gaiden, that's fine. I... Because, I mean, the core gameplay is still the same. There wouldn't be any difference there, so... Well... I know you can change. I'm speaking generally. I'm not where I wanted to go. Hey, bro, I have a saber tooth tiger and a burb to show you. Oh my god, you found a saber tooth tiger! Here's some bunch of money! Thanks. So, yeah, since I didn't know my way around too much, I just went with this to make my money. Hope I get the saber to tiger or the mammoth, and there you go. I don't actually know. Uh, right here I wanna go. Now I actually wanna go to the shipyard. But it's funky delic music. Get the dragon figure head. It's not perfect protection against Storm, but uh, it, it helps. Which actually, I should have bought some bomb back in Boto. I'm gonna go do that. Just looked it up for you, Zaichin. Uh, it, the second installment has major characters that are re returning for the side story. Miranda Verte, who is Pietro's mar the marriage proposal girl. The one from Genoa. And then Salvador Lace, the adopted son of Kyradin. Salvador Lace is basically the experienced player scenario, and Miranda Verde is the easy mode. Okay, we've got a bunch of bomb. It, it uses the same engine as this, basically, so... But yeah, I've showcased very much all I wanted to with this version, so what I'm gonna show is... Actually, some difference in the endings. 
Let me uh, load my almost completed save. Are the endings all FMV in this version? Uh, not quite. That's not the main difference, I add. But yeah, for context, we are in the final city for Urn Scenario, which is Chang Han. And uh, yeah, I had to do a lot to complete this shit. <laughs> But, there's also something interesting. Um, where is it? Discovery. Um, wait, no, that's my items. Um, one of the discoveries in Japan, uh, in the version we have on SNES, it's actually like a namahage, it's some sort of clay doll. In, the, in this version of the game, we have this! A Kappa, and it's star rank! They probably- they probably re they probably switched it out for something different in the international versions because- because Kappa being mythol- Japanese mythology, it was- uh, Actually, mythology. it wasn't in the N SNES uh, Japanese version. This is specifically for the PlayStation. And probably the Saturn version too, which is the same. Because yes, this, it was also on the Saturn. Yeah. At that point, it was just Koei wanting to release it on, leave it in Japan. At that point, I do have a bunch of version of uh, things here, including uh, uh, another version. I don't think that's in the other version. Victoria Falls, Victoria. Armadillo, I think that's uh, Rhino. Rhinoceros, they call him Kaba in in Japanese. That's Mandrill. Dodo. Yeah, that was another star rank I got. Uh... Boiling water, water, probably. Something like that. King Cobra. King Cobra. Ancor. Ancor what? Ancor what? That's a Kappa. Kappa. Great Wall. Manchu no. Yeah. And uh. Panda. I think that's another bird. Jeez, uh she sub pen she sobbed. I've it's not seen this serpent. burb in the other version, so hey. How sea serpents aren't birds. It looks like a burb. It's a sea serpent! It still looks like a burb. There's a cactus. Venus fly plant. Niagara, no Ryu. Niagara, Niagara which Falls. is not in Niagara. Because, yes, it's in the same place in this version. As on Water Lily. Uh, I don't actually remember this one. Peyote. And slot. Another bird. Thinking. Waka teru saru. I'm passing quickly because there's purple vu. Tayo no sunstone probably. Prairie dog. Prairie dog. That's Tasmanian Devil. Devil. It doesn't cause tornado here either. Another burb. Aurora Borealis! Tell her sea Kai cow. Kaiju. Kaiju. Another burb. 
and then the saber tooth tiger. Saber tiger. Saber tiger. Yeah, tiger. That's pretty much how I started that scenario. Oh yeah, let me actually end the scenario here. Because, yeah, I'm gonna mention where the ending ends in the SNES version. Yeah, that's pretty much where it ends in the SNES version. And then uh, the journal and the uh, credit stuff. But, yeah, there's Paula in the background here. It took me 926 days. Which is honestly pretty quick for this scenario. No, actually, this goes automatically, so... Polo's introduction. Also, why does it look like your first mate has a big forehead? <laughs> oh, Polo. Yeah, they... I didn't realize that's what it said, but no, that's Porta. You wouldn't need to fret. I'm sure the captain wants you to stay on his side forever. Don't say such things, she's gonna misunderstand. Baka the koto! Baka! Is that actually what he says? Like you. Yeah, he's calling him a Baka. Don't say, don't say stupid things. Baka de! It's not like I like you or anything, Baka! Her telling him about her memories. Yep, essentially trying to remember what's her own Return, return life. to her family! Which is what we just saw. After his long journey... But yeah, we're about to see something that definitely wasn't in other version. Well, already this, uh, he's, uh... This little scene here is not in the other versions, obviously. That's Ernst returning her to her family. And, uh, yeah, they, they became more than just uh, shipmates. It was, un that. it was underlined in the other versions, but yeah, we got post-journal uh, post scene here. I don't know what they're saying to each other, but I'm sure it's very sweet. Uh, Kimi, Kimi, 
Gaboku. I think he's about to propose to her. Yeah, he's proposing to her. I can't love you. I really wish I could I read Japanese. Oh, I could actually read this scene. Torini. As yeah, I, I'm not the one forwarding these this text. It's going by itself. But I yeah, will when not I marry you. when I got this ending, I was not expecting to see a post uh, a post scene. So. To spend the rest of my life with you. Because <laughs> that's the thing, we can't really call it post credit scenes because they never show the credits in this game. I don't think they show the credits until, until you beat all six scenarios. And if that's the case, then yeah, that's going to be a feat in of itself for someone that doesn't know Japanese. Indeed. I mean, it's a nice epilogue. I'd be curious to know what the epilogues are for the five other characters. Especially with Ali and his uh, orphanage. I wonder if it becomes a Kiryu thing. <laughs> oh yeah, fuck yes. Someone does an English translation. Go for it. Is it, is it time for Gaiden? It may be time for Gaiden. Why does that keep... Why does the... Why does I don't know changing? why it does that. I really don't. Now this is a side... And Gaiden is a side story to the... To the second game, so... Come on, here it is, there's the Kai logo. Game? Uh, I know okay, it then. works. Okay, okay. Okay! Recoation, recoation game. That, that, that took a while to load. That's why I was worried. Yeah, I'm not sure why it's doing that. And now we're, and now since we're PS1 only, a CD only game, we're. We're all contractually obligated to have full motion video. I don't think I have that up. Let me check.
Wait. There was like it. This is using licensed music for this opening. Wait, it is. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Copyright Nazis, get the fuck out of my stream. God damn it. <laughs> I don't even know. Here's one of our characters. Like, I don't know, like, I don't know, that's the thing, I just, I saw Castile posted that, so... And there's the other one, Kyriden's so adopted son. This is another case of someone get onto a fucking translation of this, please. I cuckoo Jedi Gaiden. Oh yeah, we have two character choices here. She's 60! <laughs> And yeah, you could tell this is the same uh, engine just because of the uh, EA and A images. Yep. As I said before, uh, she she was a huge plot point in in the. Uh, I'm trying to remember his name. Pietro scenario. Uh, she's not really mentioned in this scenario, though, as we saw. Cause see, there's Pietro right there! Pietro! <laughs> oh, we don't see her in, uh... We don't see her in there because he busts because this this only happens because of him hiding from the one person. How dare you barge in my house? Get the fuck out! Oh, this is the lady that oh oh it was a nameless lady in the in the uh or actual game. You were the fuck alone. Asshole. Are you okay? Now the main problem I have is I don't know how to actually start her scenario. And she just fell in love. Put her poor, cause she three cause years she later, cause she, cause she thought that he proposed to her by that with that, and the seas of Genova. Yeah, at the time he was the poorest man, but three years later, however. It looks like we have different graphics for ship travel. Uh, I think it's supposed to be shown in like a uh, isometric perspective to make it show a little bit of depth. I have no idea. As I said, I don't even know how to start this. Pietro's here? Yare <laughs> yare does it. But yeah, here's her stats. 
It actually starts with right. a level in navigation, but her C stats is not too great. She has a lot of courage, though. And she actually has more charisma than Catalina. I think she's an orator, actually, so she probably has a lot of speech stats at that point. Oh wow, they actually showed the time. Do you know the times? Do you know the time, old man? No. You know someone by the name of Pietro? No, if I find him, I will tell you. Alright. I understand. I think those are supposed to be her mom and dad. I guess so. Oh, we have a doggo sound. Doggo sound. One, one. <laughs> Nothing in the church. Steeple. Yep. And here is the church. Here is the steeple. Oh, goodbye. Okay. Thanks. Bye. You can be here! I must ask you to leave. <laughs> oh, I recognize this guy from the original one. Clearly stares back there. Hi, nothing. She's looking for Pietro still. I think she just found out where to go, but I didn't see it because you skipped through it. Try not to go too fast. Pietro is here? When? Matilda, how do you get on eh? Time to go the fuck to sleep. Oh, you don't get a nap time thing. <laughs> Surprised no one has translated this, honestly. Kind of sad. Then again, there's probably. Then again, there's probably not a. Probably not a reason for it. I 
think this bee shop is... No, that, the item shop's over here. What's the bee shop? Because that's the guild, that's the trader. And this is B. You have no items. You have no gold. Honestly, I don't know how else to... Because I don't know enough kanji. Yeah, what I was doing, I was stumbling around every place I could think of until something happened, but it never did. Unfortunately, this is a thing of language barrier incarnates. Yep. I'd say at that point, you've basically exhausted it, so... Because that's the thing, I wanna at least get... Oh! Something different's happening here. I don't know what exactly, but something was different. Oh, we you? met. Oh, well, we met. Ah, uh, uh, that's Tonio. That's one of the people that follows her onto that sails with her. Juice. <laughs> He's sleeping! Yes, so oh, maybe. Give me a ship, bartender. Or ship tender. A drink, bartender. These two build these three buildings have nothing. No, wasn't there something happening in the B building? Oh, that's the bank! I don't know why it's a B, but that's the bank. Did Pietro come this way? No. Okay. Asleep. Are you supposed to talk to Tonio? It, it won't let me move while I'm in the cafe, so... Oh, 
Honestly, I'd say at this point... I just want to get to the overworld! That's all I want to do! <laughs> That's seriously all I want to do! Yes, I am delaying the fuck out of FFT! Because I want to get to the overworld! Home of data PlayStation graphics? That bad didn't scenario. What tells you that it wouldn't be less complicated than this? Oh, something different's happening. There was more tech, so clearly there's something different. Maybe now the other guy will be woken up. Wait the fuck up! I can save you the some of the differences, but uh, navigation tools have been unified into one item for further convenience. Latitude and longitude are displayed on screen if the player has a celestial navigation skill. Hmm. The, the limit cap for gambling has been removed. Oh God. Fame ranks. Fame ranks for piracy are included. Pirates from the original game have been relocated to make way for new ones. Players can now learn accounting and negotiation. Yep, that's two skills you couldn't learn in the original game. Stack growth gained by leveling up has been modified. Some discoveries are replaced with new ones to fit the game's setting. Italy's political relationship with the other countries is less friendly this time around. A shortcut menu for entering facilities uh, is Get out of the way, you fuckers! In accordance to history, Chinese ports are closed off by day, nor can they be invested to secure alliances. Huh. Certain maritime disasters have been removed, though scurvy is more rampant than ever. Duels now include two additional cards, critical attack and full defense. Ships that can or cannot sail on deeper waters are indicated by circle and cross marks, respectively. It's closed. Ah, finally I can check his stats. Oh, wow, okay, okay, yeah, I like this. Yeah, uh, he has sailing advice to make up for his lack of experience. No, I mean, you can do LNR for changing characters. Thank God. I and also, uh, he has navigation. Well, yeah, he's your first mate, I'm gonna guess.
Good, as if Italy didn't have a hard time in New Horizons. <laughs> I mean... They do, is the thing. They don't have a good time. I've showcased plenty of time except in Pietro's scenario. Two thousand gold pieces. That's not gonna get us far. Okay, uh... We don't have to worry about copyright on that one, because the, that song was made specifically for the game. So we... So we've avoided the copyright, Gus. Oh, we have a ship. Yeah, her father... Yeah, her father's ship. Ribeccio! Except if you decide to ignore investing everywhere. Her father owned a cheap ship. Yeah, yeah, I mean... Unused... Hey, at least now they give you a save progress bar as opposed to... The first game, as opposed to... Two. Okay, let's see the overworld. Home of data PlayStation graphics. Yeah, it's done from an isomet it's done from an isometric view. To make it look like the world is round. Oh good, you have choice you have choice text too. That's great. But yeah, besides the uh, perspective change, it looks like it's more or less the same as as Daikokai 2 on here. Andorea! Oh god. <laughs> the two Venetian galleys. He was- He's on- He was on your side, though. I don't know why he was coming after you. Cause he was part of- He was Italian. Holland! Glad some of the, uh, the guys are still here. Diego Sosa! We can't see them. As a fleet of now and one Carrack. That's an adult. Holy shit, he's eye leveled. But yeah, with the, the bus here, I'm pretty sure he's Italian.
Yeah, I guess we just found Suta. Yep. Jesus. You guys are wiggling all over the place. Villainheim. The only Fwick. Ben Fwick. Is that you moving the ship like that? Yes. Okay. This is an interesting perspective, I'll give you that. No, no stone edge. You might not have the required uh, visual stat for it yet. Or it just hasn't spawned. Gain the level! Gain the level! And supply port. I mean, you got to see the overworld. And I'm just curious. Oh, I see more. <laughs> You're not going to be able to lay it forever. <laughs> Maybe not, but it makes me happy. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Ah, they're fur. You want some ton, huh? Arupoa Orlando, Orlando. Watch out, Japan's currently in the Sengoku Jidai period. <laughs> That's probably why China doesn't let you. Oh wow, make there's no, uh, there's no border. It was seamless, seamless. Okay, fine, I'll stop. <laughs> Alright. There is technically one more thing I might want to show. And since we're going to be going on that thing anyways, I might as well boot it, boot it up. Okay, Are one you second. Doing four? Oh, don't spoil it! <laughs> But yes, I was about to showcase a little bit of Daikokuchi Dai 4. Which right. this is basically a port of the, This is basically a port of the fourth game to PSP. With new stuff added in, quote unquote. But yeah, I have no idea how this game works. I was able to get out of uh, a port, and that's about it. This was also on DS as well, but the DS version has a, a few, a few uh, changes. Hoodlum. Hoodlum, Joke and Bergstrom.
But yeah, at this point, this is not New Horizon. This is the sequel of the sequel. Because Daiko Kaiji Dai 3, Costa del Sol, was PC only. <laughs> Don't ask me why, but it was. Because on the PS1, they skipped directly to Daiko Kai 4. All right, I had to save the game. Uh, yeah, you have the choice of between three characters. Oh, and it tells I, you their astrological sign as well. I think they have uh, actual birthdays, unlike in... Uh, well, in New Horizon, everyone's birthday is on the, the 1st of the January, so... Oh, yeah, because I think in... I think in Daikokai 3 is when they introduced that. God damn it. It's burbs. Claudio! I believe Claudio is his first mate, essentially. Maybe. Not that I understand anything. <laughs> Yari, yari, does it? Sorry, yari, yari. Hello. Freo and Neko. Hello, Neko. Freo and Neko. I think Janice, I think Janice is probably the navigator, probably, for that scenario. Because I don't think you get, I don't think you can get mate, like, new mates in this, in this game. I have absolutely no idea. <laughs> Apparently we've got 30,000 something. Probably money bucks. Thirty thousand gold. Thirty thousand gold to start. Something tells me. Something tells me Raphael is easy mode. of talking to something on the easy mode if you get a Roko Yari Yari Disney Why do we get to the gameplay? Ah, there was there was a celebration sound I guess I someone think, uh, joined. Janice, Janice joined your party. Claudio joined your party. Prio joined your party. Oh, we've got four people then. Uh, yes. Okay, so shipyard in pub. And this is item discovery ship status, that kind of thing. We're in Lisbon right now.
party members. Status. HP. Yeah! Daikoku Jedi 4 is the first game, either that or 3, was the first game to introduce an RPG mechanic. Don't ask me why. Apparently, Frio starts at level 25. Yeah, this is essentially easy mode. Oh, right, you have to actually upgrade your ship manually, too. Like, you can add sails, like, make food, like, put food in there and stuff. Okay, yeah, that's the shipyard. This is probably how you uh oh, either repair. Okay. What do you want? What do you? Which ones do you want for sale? Or which ones are for sale or whatever? What one do you want to okay. sell? Ones. One hundred something. We can sell. We can s for one hundred gold. I can give you one hundred gold for something. Okay, so this is how you. This is flag. This is docking your ships. Oh, boring. And then probably destination. Yeah, it'd be destination. Fuck. Genova. There's the overworld. Oh, you, you guys have no water. <laughs> or food, or rations. You should probably go buy some. That's the problem, I don't know where. Well, that's the guild down there in the bottom left. That seems to be the traitor. That is the club. Oh my god, please! Oh, there's the items. I know it's in the shipyard. I know it's in the shipyard, but... That's the dock. Probably, if I had to guess. So that's probably the shipyard.
It would really help if I knew what I was doing. Surprise nobody's translated this either. Honestly, I think we've got the gist of it anyway. Because, I mean, we got to see a little bit of the overworld when you were out there, so... Oh, wait, we got supply now. Oh, oh it looks like, hell? it looks like... Did you get more ships? Guess that's how you look at ships or see them from afar. It's Suta. We found the city! Oh, and the level ups are dynamic. They don't ever bring it up anymore. And now you're in Seville. Oh, the guy who... Whoa. Jesus. I think those are just regular ships at that point, then. Raphael, level up. And it looks like the sail is your, uh, tell at what direction your the wind is going. And then the rudder is the is the uh, rudder speed. I'm noticing that the food and water is not going down that oh God. quickly. Or no, the speed is that like the speed is down there at the bottom of the pod there at the left. Or no, the right. The sail just shows you the wind direction, basically. Full speed. Jesus Christ, Raphael's getting so many level ups. We've we been don't... selling for like 70 something days. Now let's stop in Bristol. Um, he thinks this might be a supply port. Is it? It's Bristol. Yeah, he's level 10 now. Jesus. Level 6. Level 5. Level 26. He was level 25 when we started, so... Yeah, I'd say save and... No, clearly I know what to do. You're gonna try and find a storm, aren't you? Yes, absolutely. I since I guess since the winds are pushing me over here, I might as well go to uh, Iceland. Raphael, level up. Raphael, level up. I 
I'm not sure what that message was, but... Game over. Yep. <laughs> okay. Well, that was our Kokachi Night 4. Uh, yeah, that was a thing. It exists. <laughs> With that, I'm gonna leave you to tactics because I'm gonna do some other stuff. Yeah, I'm gonna do a quick BRB while I switch over everything, so we'll be right back, everyone.